of all in this video we will try to analyze the effect of input offset voltage and input offset current on the op amp functionality so basically when we say op amp functionality ultimately we want the output voltage from the op amp right so we will see the effect of op amp and also we will analyze how the models are going to impact the output voltages in the lt spy simulations so one thing we have to remember whenever we include an op amp in lt spy simulation like example here we included lt1013 so you have to go to the library and see or basically the model of that particular component and see how much offset um, <coughs> current or uh, any other offset related specifications are included generally when you have a lt spice uh, uh, library in that library for for any component uh, the offset parameters are set to zero that means it is uh, treated that uh, uh, treated as a um, ideal um, characteristic may not be completely ideal but basically uh, the offset voltages are actually set to zero okay so now um, if you see here this is a simple construction of uh, uh, an op amp with a feedback resistor and you can see the scenario where the inverting and non inverting terminals are directly grounded so that means in this scenario the input offset voltage must be zero input offset current must be zero and as there is no input voltage also provided the output must be zero right let us try to run this okay you can see here let us eliminate the older trace and let us try to capture the voltage you can see here the output is zero volts here right that means two inputs are grounded you don't have any voltage on this that means uh, mm, uh, the <coughs> offset voltage is zero and correspondingly as no input voltage is provided the output is zero okay now let us just try to record this so r1 is nothing but a 10k okay this is 10k and when you have r2 which is uh, zero right because uh, we are assuming r2 as uh, a uh, input uh, uh, resistor on the inverting terminal and r comp is nothing but the compensation resistor so we use compensation resistor to compensate for the additional bias current so to explain it further internally in the op amp we have um, differential amplifier two that means two transistors are present whether they be bjt based or whether it is a fvt based so each transistor will have their own characteristic so one transistor will have a different uh, uh, bias input other transistor will be will be having a different bias input that means there is a input difference between the bias so to compensate for those uh, uh, <coughs> bias currents we we will use a um, compensation resistor okay so now in this scenario r comp is also zero and the output voltage is also zero okay now let us assume a scenario where you have a resistor okay here you have a resistor here let us assume this is 1k okay now when you have a resistor here uh, there is a compensation resistor that is required here which is a parallel of r1 and r2 so parallel of 1k and 10k is approximately 900 ohms or if you if you want exact value it is around 910 okay so the compensation resistor is around 910 but still if we see the input is grounded here 
So that means there is no input. So what we did here, we just added an input resistor and we added a compensation resistor. Now let us try to simulate this. So, okay, let us yeah, delete the old trace and try to trace the see now again the output is still zero so that means even though you added resistors you don't have any um, um, bias that is provided so ultimately uh, there is no input here so it is actually having a zero value now what what we have is okay now for r2 we have something called 10 1k for our comp we have something called 9 10 still the output is zero okay so till now what we understand is we don't have any offset value that is being considered here in the simulations okay uh, so um, the the Otherwise, we would have seen a, some voltage that is being developed uh, even though there is no input here. So, in these cases, generally what we do is we introduce some offset based on the uh, LT1013 data sheet. We will see the offset value and then we will introduce into the circuit and then see how much it is affecting the output voltage so for that we need to introduce a offset voltage here so let us introduce some offset here okay let us have okay voltage is nothing but uh, a, a source right it is basically a source right so let us just introduce a uh, offset of 10 millivolts on this okay now what is what has happened is you still have the bias you still have the uh, input resistors but you have introduced an offset now let us try to see the impact on the output voltage and you can see here the because of this particular offset that is being introduced you can see there is 110 millivolts of change in the output voltage so ultimately what we are confirming here is basically big okay let us uh, first try to add these here Okay, now here we have 110 millivolt in the bracket, how much we have added with 10 millivolts of voltage offset. Okay, V offset. We have introduced that offset there and we see that uh, this has introduced a 110 millivolt. So what we are basically saying is whenever you are simulating your uh, operational amplifier specifically in the LT spice, uh, you have to um, consider the offset voltages, uh, add your offset voltages on those specific pins or if there is any input offset current and because of it you have introduce some voltage um, those also have to be added in your circuit and then simulated such that you see the effect if you take the symbol directly from LT spice you will not see the effect of it which uh, we have clearly seen by just grounding and not performing any analysis hope we are clear here please post if you have any questions thank you